back everyone, this is Darkest Hour, Darkest, not Darkest Hour, Heart of Darkness, Le Fonts Campaign. And after you guys have been gone for as long as I say in about a couple few days, hello past viewers, <laughs> you know past viewers from the last episode, um, I've just kind of like been doing some things diplomatically and decide what nations I wanted to sphere. Not that many, really. I'm not going to be, like, overly ambitious about sphering, because sphering really isn't where my goals are. And then, I was also debating on if I wanted to... Wait, give me one second. Ah! Okay, there we go. Had to get something from the ground. I was also debating if I wanted to attack Argentina next, or for my Casas Belli, or do I want to start my Johor? My Johor, like, invasion. Now, the thing is about Johor is that it's going to take... For me to get my fleet, my tw my 27 soldiers over there, it's going to take me approximately about a year. So, you know, it would be good if I had... Oh, Louis Napoleon in Switzerland, an outspoken critic of our regime, the current head of the Bonapartes, has been granted asylum in Switzerland. From them is encouraging our subjects to ch challenge our legitimacy. Should we demand the Swiss eradicate him? Demands the Swiss to eradicate them or his families and elves are no threat to us. Seriously, why should we even care? And the Bonapartes aren't even in power right now. Yeah, they... <laughs> well, I, I had to check for a second. Yeah, they, they aren't in power right now, so we shouldn't even care what he even thinks. And, by the way, nice flags. I like them all. They're really quite, like, they, they give you kind of a sense of you can create a lot more in this game. But, anyway, so it'll take a long time for my ships to... You gotta be kidding me. I can't... Well, let's see. How many can I get on in? And, by the way, I should probably make Bordeaux a little bit bigger. It is a major city, after all. Okay, so split as many as you can. I can only leave two... Two soldiers is fine me, because I'll probably only need, like... Outside help anyway, so... Yeah. And I think I also helped with a little bit of spending in with the building artillery factories because artillery factories might be very useful because I'm planning on having a very thick artillery band. So let's start this travels. So it'll first get to here. Uh, probably should increase our naval base, increase our naval base. And that will take approximately, wait, how long would that take? It'll arrive its destination. Hmm. Ah! Yeah, I forgot to check. I forgot to see how you can check on that. But it's probably going to take a very, very long time. So, yep, it seems like I'll probably go... I'll go for the Jehor expansion this time around. So, justify war, establish protection. And we still got massive amounts of infamy to burn. I mean, for right now, I'm not getting discovered, like too many times so yeah oh ooh actually there's one more thing we have to do and that's start expanding our military because we don't want to just like okay I'll make about that many soldiers oh wait that's not in your that's not in your okay I'll make some cavalry about three cavalry and about two three artillery there we go that should combine like a new unit so that we have a new protection. And let's see if we can finally make these forts I've been wanting to make for like a couple episodes now. And our finally our colonial expansion is done. So what do we need next? Well, since we are actually a uh, dominant power, <laughs> um, I'm actually going to be working on this. Diplomatic like influence and stuff like that. Nah, I'm joking. I'm actually going to be working on that. But it will take me a moment to decide what I do want. Hmm. National focus, fundamentalism, authoritarianism, purity, plurality. Hmm. Or I could get clean coal. Machine parts might be good. High pressure, not really that useful. Cheap iron. Medicine, let's get medicine next. That way we kind of like keep with our colonial ideals of we want to colonize. 
And since we're not really going to be going against like anyone really powerful, like the only worry I really have from for a very long time is from Germany. <sighs> All right, we already got our first thing. It's in Switzerland, yay! The Swedes love us, so this should be a very quick like. Yeah, they they will definitely become in our sphere very soon. Won't even take us much time. Okay. And how are we doing our ships? The ship is right over here. It's just about to cross the little part of Africa right over there. The Johor Menace! They're coming for us! Ah, I love when that event fires. Because then you know that the... That the well, I can create a state out of either... We could create a, a state out of Ghana. You know, that's what I'm going to do. No, like, Ghana is over here. And everyone, yes, create a state. There we go. We have our first state. The first col colony that rose above its ranks and became a state. Congratulations, French Ghana. <sighs> I feel that deserves a celebration, everyone. Bring out your wine. Cause, or, champ or the champagne. And let us drink till our guts spill out. Still, and I was not drinking champagne there, everyone. I'm way too young for that. I was drinking water. <sighs> this water still was a good investment. It's still helping me out a lot. And, new upper house liberals are starting to gain power. That isn't good. The Arc de Triomphe. Oh, the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Um, commissioned by Napoleon Bonaparte was unveiled in 1836 after 30 years of building. Inspired by the tri umphintal arches of the Romans, the monument displays the scenes of the French Revolutionary War and Napoleon's success. Wonderful. That actually, the Arc du Triomphe also holds a ceremony every single day for the unknown soldier where they burn, I think this is, they have a little casket and they burn like a casket for the symbolism of the unknown soldier that we don't know about. So, yeah, just a little history there. And the Carnalists, oh great. <laughs> I'm just hoping that they'll just eventually just get annoyed by this and just go away. Like, well, we don't really want to deal with this. Okay, fertilizer company. But uh, I don't know if that's going to be profitable. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll see how we are, but... Ooh, newspaper! War between Persia and Afghanistan. Well, we saw that one calling. Portuguese insults. Luxembourg relations. Breakthrough in Luka. Breakthrough in the United Kingdom, uh, prices rise, intervention, and new patient. Okay, let me check diplomacy to see if there's anything new. No, just my Kazaspeli on Johor. Wow, that went pretty fast. That must mean that my ships are just crossing Cape Hope. And the United States, are, so Queen, Queen Victoria is now in power. Congratulations to her. And the fiery Sherman. Wow, we keep hiring a lot of Germans. It's like, liberal author. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, I could deal with some dissent in some regions. No. <laughs> I cannot deal with that. Whatever the first option was, I can't deal with that. And, I guess, huh, I, I would have thought I would have forgot about you, but it seems like you now became an official state of mind. So now... Now you move from being in, like, the colony causes belly to being in the state causes belly. And, oh my. Everyone discovered my protectorate as soon as I got it. Wow. You guys are smart. So, I have this causes belly until 1839. Whew, that's actually going to be a short amount of time. So, all these guys will do is dock up right there. And then they're going to immediately have to head out to go fight some more. And what I'm going to be doing is... Am I still expanding? No, I'm not expanding over here. Probably because I don't have the money. Uh... No, we need level 2 indoctrination ports. For these two to expand. Well, let me look at my railroads for a second. Sorry, people. Well, okay. I'll get back to you guys when I finish my railroads. That's pretty bad. Okay? Okay, be right back. So, I ran out of money. Yeah... That stings. Okay, let me combine my armies right there, 
And we're just gonna have to wait till we gain more money to like do stuff. And let me get back to my troops. Wait, I have some nutrition troops over here. Yep, right here. Oh, you guys are supposed to be about over there. Okay, and you guys right here will combine. Right, you guys mobilize. And we got a new spearing mom moment. Time to spear Brazil. And no, it just increased in just increased opinion. Cordial. They're now cordial with us. That's good. That is very good. Okay, has our ships landed in here yeah, now? Nope, they're still we're still having some like issues. Okay, well let's like dock up here for a second. Give you guys three days to like dock up. Okay, maybe I'll give you a little bit more. Okay. Now get on the ships. Make it to Goa next. Ah, uh, dang, I forgot to extend Goa. Okay, well, we're extending Goa now. Mm-hmm. And also, our capitalists seem to be expanding businesses. That's good, but I really hope they will stop trying to invest in... See, that's the reason why you need to kind of, like, expand railroads by yourself. is because otherwise your capitalists will waste your time on you, like... No, don't waste your time on stupid railroads. They aren't that important. I mean, literally, they cost me nothing. And I can build them so much more... So much quicker than they can. Alright? Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> now time to get back to my invasion plan. So now that I have a Kazus belly on... Uh... Johor... It's now time to get a Casas Belly on Argentina. Which I don't think I can outright annex the first time. Yeah, I can only demand concession. If I wanted to, I could do a conquest Casas Belly, but that would be really risky. That would be just uh, risky. So just a demand concession would be much better Casas Belly. And we already have the troops ready. The generals are all ready. And disband unnamed brigades. What? No. Oh, no, that's just... No. I don't want to do that. Who would ever do that? I don't know. Seems like a very stupid option, but we already have... We already have enough troops in these regions to kind of... Heck, we already... We honestly have a big enough army already to just take them... Take the Argentinas all out, which is what we want to do. And we gained 4.4 infamy. That means we have a little bit higher infamy than usual. And it are, how are ships doing? They reached Goa without much problems. Yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. I think it's because I built a lot more ships. Because originally when I tried this the first time, I lost like... It was at like 45%. All these ships were like, like 45% naval, naval like dominance. But I think this time I did a much better job of just kind of relaxing and letting things go so yeah very soon people we will have our first invasion of Johor and you know what I'll kind of keep it this way for a little bit it's just kind of keeping invasions at the end of the video kind of guys keep you a little bit teased for what's coming up and the United States the model colony what but <laughs> well that's that's kind of interesting I didn't even know America had any colonies in Africa. I mean, technically Libya, but that's not really a colony. That's more of them just kind of like lightly putting their fist down. If they're talking about over here, these become states. They're more territories, not colonies. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what, what you think of this. What, what could this event mean? And whatnot. Okay. Now that that's over with, now let's get back to our actual... Heh <laughs> heh moment. So Jehor, are you guys feared by anyone? You're neutral with everyone. Oh, this is this is just too perfect. Okay. Establish protectorate. Jehor time to die. Jehor time to die. Carrying my nine men. Go on. Go take out. Mission into Argentina. Rad Radi uh, 
In a rather embarrassment blunder, several of our soldiers in the uniform of Argentina has been caught while trying to sneak across the border. While the rumors that the task was to stage a border incident to justify our invasion are totally unfounded, it would be wise not to provide any fresh fuel for the fire right now. What are you t Ah, dang it! Okay, so that event was basically the opposite of the other event, which was... The first event I got to, uh, invade. I got like 25% better causes belly, now it's 25 deducted causes belly. But luckily, my causes belly had already been figured out, so... There's not much else I can really do about it. And apparently my market is crashing, just a little bit. So I'm going to put the pressure onto the, uh... To the... People. And right now we already have our invasion stacking up over here. Ooh, that's not looking very good. Uh, how much can we... Hmm. We could possibly be doing this for a little bit amount of time. And we don't have to... Hmm. Right now I also got the... The luxury needs of, of a lot of artisans g matched. Which is very... It's very hard to, like, match artisan needs. I don't know why, but artisans are, like, the worst... Are the worst, like... People in this game. It's not the soldiers, it's not the, like, craftsmen, it's not the laborers, it's the stupid artisans. Alright, and I sphered... I sphered... The, uh, Swedish. So now we have Switzerland and completely under our control and buying our goods. Which is good, because we actually do need... More of those type of things to happen. Ha 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 ha. Okay, back to the war. Back to the war. Which we also are at war with Asia, but I don't think they're going to be able to do anything against our modern army. Are we? Heck, I don't even think they even have boats. Okay, so we're going to go over here to see if they have any type of army to even stand against us. Oh, they do! Okay, and it's pretty badly refurbished, so what I'm going to do is include our tank, that, and an infantry. I'll include two infantry, that should do it. Okay, and no, I don't want you guys. You guys, you guys will go right there. Yeah, just as I thought. You guys... And we're just gonna block them off so that they can't... The Arginium is... Okay, they're coming for us, finally! I need that event, and... We can now get a little bit more power in Portugal and Spain. My two places I've been working on very hard. Okay, increased opinion. Cordial. Alright, and increased Brazilian opinion. I don't know why. Brazil, you know... Some people say it's a bad idea to, s to sphere Brazil. I always find it's kind of like funny. Because they usually do go to war against uh, Colombia. Which usually does benefit me in the end. So, you know. Just kind of there. Okay, back to our war with the uh, Johorians. Because we know they are the threat to our eternal security of the French Empire. Yes, they are. You cannot deny it. Okay, right now we're spending a lot to get banks but luckily we're investing a lot in private investors so that's just save our butt okay do 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 and we have our artillery ranks uh succession of tailmen okay when do i have to use that by diplomacy diplomacy when do i have to use that by 1840 of the next year okay so i have a little bit i don't have to use it huh i don't even have to I could possibly use it right now, but right now, it's, that'd be too many wars to go on right now. We're still just... I, I have a hard time multitasking. And our naval dominance finally got up to the point it needed to. It's now supplying everything. That's good. That's good. Because now we can just, like, relax. Uh, and seriously, that's all I'm really doing is just relaxing in this. This isn't even really a war. And I could honestly take Aja too. I mean, it honestly would not be that hard. Um, show wars. But I don't think I could add a war goal. Hmm. Looks like our people, our people are not, it's weird, our people are not like jindoistic right now. So they need to like, I need to like prompt them into it. But before we do that, war between Bokeya and Kiva. What? How did that gain the main passage when my war is obviously more important right here? It, it deserves it deserves a front page. What do you guys? You guys don't know nothing. Lux, Luxembourg fears our might. You should. 
Um, breakthroughs in Greece, price changes, um, prices rise, new patients, innovations, yay, innovations, yay, Litomps! I love the Litomps, okay. You guys, now let's go crush the rest of these badly supplied Jehoians. Oh, yeah, they're dead. That was, wow, that wasn't even really a fight. I, I, I feel kind of bad now. That wasn't even really a fight. It just, I just kind of mopped over them. And the Legato Street Conspiracy. A group of known radicals have been assembling at a central townhouse on Cato Street regularly for several months. The group's outspoken radical Republican agenda and its attempts to recruit new members have led local officials to raise concerned eyebrows and to keep watchful eye on the groups. In a dawn raid by police early this morning, suspicious were confirmed as the group was caught red-handed planning an assault on a known member of the cabinet in preparation for a future coup de grace. Although we never risked the plan seeking seeing fruitation, the incident has sparked a debate in the upper house on the need to curl the regulate the rights to assemble. Um, no, liberty must be defended. I'm, I'm sorry, but that is the bottom line. I mean, as much as we hate the fact that people would do stupid things, they have the right. They have the right to do those stupid things. It isn't my saying to say that they can't, like, blow themselves up with firecrackers. Alright? It isn't my saying that they should not do it. They should not do it, but it's not for me to say that for them. Sometimes you just need to learn your lesson. And granted, they'll learn the lesson harshly if they use firecrackers and blow themselves up. <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay. We're almost done. Well, it's like it's like the almost the end of the episode. My brain's like going splattered. All right. And is there anything I'm missing? No, not really. I don't think. So I fear them. Oh, oh, oh! Bulgaria is out of sphere. Damn, they don't like me. Oh, they're a great power right now. What? Okay. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> okay, it became a great power? Wow. Okay. Clap, clap, clap for Bulgaria. I did not... And I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you guys did not see that one coming. Um... That was... You know, that's, that's really the surprise of the episode. It isn't really my invasion... It isn't really my invasion plans, which, I mean, this, this, it's done. Am I still at war with the other guy? Because I wouldn't mind taking territory from him, too. No. Alright. So now we own Johor, and as I always do, the next part of my plan has been filled. But, dang. <laughs> Seriously? Bel Belgium is a great power. I'm sorry, people. I'm still stuck on that. So, but anyways, I'll end the episode. I'll, oh my goodness. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, stay, stay, stay Frenchy, my friends. I don't know. <laughs> that was a bad joke right there, but I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>